Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video. I'm going to be playing uh, Koromon. I really uh, love this game. I've played it for hours and hours on end. Restarted several runs. And uh, we're going to see how this one goes. Um, I'm going to try to do it differently this time than how I usually play. I play with the different Koromons and stuff. I usually like going with the fire types and stuff. But uh, we might go with the ice type build. Alright, let's get into this. Enough talking. Let's go. Yeah, ignore that one. Go play a new game. Here we go. Snoozing, snoozing, snoozing. Knock, knock. Are you still in bed dreaming? Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear it, your alarm? Now here's our practice fight. Now I've beat this guy before. It doesn't really do much for you. Hmm. Do a horror mask. Soak damage. Now this one should, uh, lower the defense. Oh no, it curses them. They're gonna die in, uh, two turns, I believe. And we do Toxic Cloud. Oh wait, never mind. I ain't gonna work on them, because they already got a status effect. I ain't gonna work on them. So I got a status effect. Hopefully if that, they die this turn though. Now uh, let's use this one. Bright guy right here. Just gonna take out this big dude right here. Splatter. One time. Uh, use another one. Here you go, heal him up some more. Restored 50, opposing uses Glacier. Geyser, I mean. Should be dying pretty soon, man. Like, what the hell? Uh, use Phantom Spikes. Do some good damage to him. Probably low his defense pretty soon. Might hit multiple times. One time. Alright, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go for heals right now. So my guy doesn't die. Uh, that one seems good. I'm gonna use that one. And uh, hopefully it saves our guy from dying. What the fuck? Ah. <sighs> Well, he got murdered. Yep, Terra Vault. I'm not really a fan of this guy, but I'm gonna use him. They're, they're down. I could have done that the first time because I knew his weakness was electric. Alright, so uh, here we go. Should be good now. <coughs> knock knock. Don't close your eyes again. Today is your first day of work at Lox Solis. I have such a terrible voice for him. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make a good impression. So now we get to choose our person. Uh, blue suits me. I'd probably go with the white tuxedo. 
But that's the closest one we got. You know, I already know, man. I'm gonna get sunglasses. Uh, probably not yet. Not yet, you know. Can't have too much fun. Um, blue. Not that kind of blue. Well, yeah, it'll work. We got sunglasses here. That's close enough, you know. Yeah, it's the closest we're gonna get to the tuxedo. Let's go, uh, next. Yep, that's me. Uh, Mr. Mitten. Oh, just Mr. Mitt. Let's see, good. Heck yeah, man. We are all dressed and ready to go. Check it out. Poster is my triumph. Ooh. You know, you've always got to check this stuff out. Alright, let's get going. Uh, I'll catch you guys back when I'm starting Coromon. Like, the actual Coromon. Unless you want to see this part. I'll probably keep it in, you know. Just for a longer video. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mitt. You're looking sharp. You must be so excited. You're finally going to become a Lucky Solid Battle Researcher. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there before going to the station. That sounds great. Come on. Dexter, please. <laughs> Dexter. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. This reminds me of Dexter Laboratory, you know? A game that... It's not a game. It was a video from years ago. I freaking loved it, man. Dexter, dear. Please keep an eye on the cakes in the oven. Okay, ma. <laughs> Let's see how burnt these are. These cakes are in the oven. But these need a little more time. I never usually complete any game I play. But this one I almost did. A delicious breakfast later. Here we are at the train station. Woo! Getting ready to get our first Coromon. So here we are, Mr. Mitt, at the starting line of your own adventure. Look at you, all grown up, and choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go, but I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Lux Solis. I know you're ready for this. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day so you don't have to worry about gold. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. I'm spinning on some Mountain Dew. Thanks, Ma. That's very sweet. I'll make good use of it. Glad to hear that, honey. Oh, look. I can see the train approaching. You have everything you need. Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear. Don't worry, Mom. I'm old enough to take care of myself. <whistles> Train is about to depart. You better get on before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. <whistles> Goodbye, Mom. You're very sad. Goodbye, dear. Cry, 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 cry some more, cry, cry. 
And this game is so beautiful. Cover X SP, HP, 50% cheaper. Takes revive them. Train let coveries per trainer hub. Nope. Uh huh. Smarter Tormon. Trainers make better decisions. Disable escaping from wild court battles. These fading Cormons. I'm limit. Strict Cormon level. Uh, catching rule. Trainer Cormon. One area. You may catch any Cormon owned by trainers. Wild and trainer. Here we go, that's good. You are not allowed to catch a Cormon if you already own a Cormon in that same evolution tree. Eh. Randomized items. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I do 5% on that. Tight level, eh. Swarmy only mode, every Cormon takes the appearance of Swarmy. Into my straights. I think it'd be fun. My evolutions. Disabled. My skills and my type. Each type will be replaced with a different one. Every species. It's a new type. Every encounter. Eh. Disabled. Randomized quest, Cormon. Cormon you have to defeat or collect for quests can be replaced with any other Cormon. My starter Cormon. Select a start. Select a starter Cormon yourself. Replace with any other Cormon. Two evolutions. I think that's gonna be good right there. Place with any Cormon. Mized what wild encounters. I think that's the right. Minimize Titan order. On cause uh I think it'd be more fun, you know. And my seed. Alright. That, that looks good right there. Let's do this. That's an interesting configuration. I've made all the necessary adjustments for you. You can return to that computer at any time to change difficulty. Great. That sounds great. At Luxolus, we offer two training courses for new researchers. A regular course and an extensive course. Which do you prefer, a concise regular course or the more comprehensive extensive course? Uh, regular course is fine. Thank you. Every battle researcher requires a gauntlet in order to carry Coromon safely around Vrula. We have several color variations from which you can choose. One moment, please. Please choose the one that you like most. Um, I like the blue one. I sure do. Alright, blue blue. Let's go. Good choice. That one looks goes well with your eyes. Your first stop will be the Kuruman Lab. Nelson will help you get started. Please take this Lux RC. The study of the art device allows you for streamlined training experience. Please stand still. I will now activate your luxury car. See, have fun and shine bright. Here we go. Hopefully, we get a good one. Let's save right now.
All right, let's see what we get. Ah, the smell. Ah, the smell. It smelly smell. You smell of story at better researcher. You do so the first Coromon. Just hold tight a moment while I finish updating the Coromon clip. <clears throat> Coromon connect the fire. Beep -a -do 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 -do. That should do it. I'm Nelson, by the way. You should be excited to start your journey with your very own Gorman. Well then, let's get it to it. <clears throat> Here are your options. The Electric Gorman Buzzlet. Movie, the Santa Gorman. And finally, let you try Type Lumen. Get closer. Buzzlet. Summary. Uh, slam. Oops, I messed up my mic. Uh, it seems okay. Now this one's a good one. I'm gonna pick movie, probably. All right, I made my decision. We're going to pick this guy. Uh, we're going to name him... Uh, we're going to name him Bob. No. i going to name him Bob. Bob sounds about right. Or beep beep. There we go. Uh, Bob. But you don't get far with just one core, Take this pad a bit for extra protection. Alright. That should be good. Uh, to help you on your adventure, we'll provide you with this generous employee starter package. Data chip. Spinner. Coupon. Chef's hat. HP cakes. Type manual. Now that you've got your Coromon, let's give that movie of yours a test run. Activate your Relux RC to take us to Battlegrounds. Hold on. Here we are. Are you, are you prepared for your first battle? We're going to battle. Aren't you an expert? Don't worry. It'll be a fair fight. I brought my cube zone. Cube zero, which has the same level as your movie. Helpful tip. If you hold down your, on your skills, you'll get a detailed overview of your effects. Be sure to try it out if you're ever confused with what skill does. Good luck, Mr. Mitt. Give it all. Ready? Let's jam. Did I just capture the guy? I'm gonna see if I can capture it. Dude, that that is so freaking loud. Hit three times. It's cute pose. The fence decreased. Uh, let's do this one more time. One time. I'm gonna see if I can capture it now. <laughs> so I can't capture him. Freak, man. Almost got him. Uh, we're gonna try again. Get 
Pokemon. Hell yeah, man. He's immune to being trapped, and his normal circumstances never fails to escape from a wild Cormon. There's always something in there. Oh, this one. Nothing. Uh huh. Oh, crud. It's a pat a bit. Ain't nothing special. Don't beat him up. I'm turning that volume down. Just a little bit. At one time, opposing pad a bit, you slam. You sphere fist. Uh, can you hit him more than once? There you go. Hit him again. At one time, pad a bit has fainted. Alright, let's go get the stink module, I guess. Here he is, this weird guy, the bald head. Larry. You. Must be. The new better researcher, Mr. Mint. Um, yes I am. Who are you? Uh, I knew it. My instincts never failed me. My name is Larry. I will help you with all the magical world of the gauntlet. This way, please. Thank you, Percy. Larry, Mr. Mid. Larry, I need to borrow Mr. Mid for a bit. Some point matters we need to go over. Ah, uh, so. This is one you told me about earlier. Sure, you can borrow my protege. Well, as with most patterns in life, the stink module can wait. I'll be hanging out by the bridge in the Radiant Park. Come to me when you're ready. Mr. Mitt. It's nice to finally meet you, Mr. Mitt. I'm Regal, head of the R&D lab. Let me explain everything in privacy of our restricted access zone. This is a possible radiation exposure. Require everyone to wear a lab coat inside. Here. I brought one that should fit you. How is a lab coat supposed to protect me from radiation? Follow me, please. There's a thing called a hazmat suit you're supposed to wear when dealing with radiation. But okay, welcome to the restricted access area. Pretty impressive, no? What is this fling thing in front of me? This here is what our Titan Task Force is all about. This tiny sliver of Titan essence. This tiny sliver of Titan essence. Strike you from one of values, islands, Titans. This comes from a Titan? What does it do? It's up to his task force to figure it out. Team which you will be a valuable addition. You want me to join the Titan task force? Yes, we do. That seems pretty uh, improper, because I do just join like an hour ago. You showed such great motivation that I had to make sure you were assigned to this team. Anyway, these Titan essences. These Titan essences will slowly disintegrate without the right containment device. Recently, though, we made a massive breakthrough in our research. We developed a gauntlet module, which will bring us one step closer to understanding Titan essence. This module, the essence collector, is able to stabilize Titan essence, as well as send us valuable research data. That's where you come in. 
who will be equipped with the citizens collector. Which means your job, in addition to being battle researchers, to assist us in gathering tight essences, it'd be an honor. Come, I'll show you. Come on, get a get a groove, dude. Titan essence in this lab will be in bed with a elemental titan, a donor island. This isn't the only one in existence. We've pinpointed the location of six of the titan essences. Hypothesis is when we manage to contain them together, we only will the show their true potential. I'll do my best. Oh yeah, man. Of course. Here you go, Mr. Essence Collector. Handle it with care. This is Titan Essence, guarded by uh, Jose, the Bender of Storms. Do you see Dono Island or our southeast of on the map? They're on the power tower. Jose bends the weather and guides current thunderstorms towards the island. We can use the Essence Collector module. We need to get inside and install it into your gauntlet. It's a precise task. Only one person. Jaldua, who knows what to work with. His name Perrin. Perrin Blacksmith. Avil, Radiant Park. Oh, anything. Good luck, Mr. Mitch. Send Brett. By strong electromagnets, he shut down somehow. Let's get our stick module. Mr. Smith, so the rumors. They're true. New Titan Task Force member. It's you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, ma'am. So happy for you. Let's help it with some stick module training. It's pretty simple, actually. I like that name. You'll love it. Only a patch of grass for... Audit Coromon. Stink module. One zap. Boom. They're all gone. They scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Have you seen the type that lends experience? Install a stink module from on your gauntlet. Installed. Make sure you're staying in the grass patch when you use the module. Or else it won't activate. Now go to go. Excellent. Notice the blink effect on the grass. Free the water with no core mounts. Just five minutes. And the module is recharged. <sighs> Ready to be used again. It's poison it. Sure is. Well, it's for today. Have a nice one. And uh, shine bright. Alright, so we got our new stink module. That's cool. SP cakes. Go down here. Over here. This guy. Oh, he's giving us some mushrooms. Oh crap. Here we go. Shouldn't be too difficult to fight. Sure, let's battle. I'm gonna capture your Cormon, dude. In a claw. Ooh, crow. Ow. 
I want this guy. I don't want to accidentally kill him either. Uh, I got... How many... Uh, I might have enough to uh, at least get him low enough to capture him. Whew, he does six damage, man. I really hope I don't accidentally kill him, man. That would suck. Ooh, we got three on them. HP cakes, we got one more. Come on, get him low enough to capture him. Ooh, he's, he's got his SP up. One more, should be good. We got three right here, and we can try them three times. Come on. We should get him right now. Hell yeah, man. We got him, finally, man. Whew. A crimson knight. This guy is so OP, man. Let's call him, uh, let's call him Toad. Or Tusf. Toad. There we go. Got Toad. Toad joined. Man. Guy was so hard to capture. This one will do a uh, special attack on him. Alright everyone, uh, I think I'm caught there. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.